Welcome back everyone, my name is Altamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of our evil campaign of Wrath of the Righteous. Where we left last time, we're on our way up the Lost Chapel. We're going to have a bunch of things to do in this video. Kill a bunch of gargoyles and ghouls, or I believe almost at the ghoul area. Did I just screw up my formation again? No, this is fine. There's a mobility check and we've all failed our perception check so far. I'm going to move up. Everyone's this failing way. their perception check. Everyone failed it. Let's quickly reload and uh, try those perception checks again. How did everyone fail? That is horrible rolls. At the very least, Camellia should have passed because her perception check is extremely high. Try one more time. We got this. It's fine. What is Camellia's perception check? 14. We have like... 14... 14, well, okay, arguably those people suck. 11 and 11. Someone should be able to make this perception check. This way. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, we have a mobility check. We'll try and save this guy, because experience. Thank you, Commander. You're welcome. Rusty blades and jagged shards protrude from a pile of broken weapons and armor. And we're going to grab some potions. Oh wait, actually I think that that particular Never flail is a masterwork flail. Me. Give me that sweet hundred dollars. And I know that's not a masterwork mace thingy, so we're going to leave it. And we're going to continue up. We're pretty close to a level, but not quite there. This group won't level up as soon as the other one. But this group, apparently, will have another... Where's that... Where's that one going? Oh no, Darren. You definitely can't tank this fight. I can't move you or you'll die. But I can't keep you there or you'll die. And you got critically hit, of course. Of course you would get critically hit on the last hit. Oh. Freaking gargoyles sometimes. Like, oh yeah, normal attack, normal attack, normal attack. You got like five hit points left, so if you get hit once, you'll be fine. You'll just fall down and we'll heal you after combat. No critical hit that particular hit. Very annoying. Also, Darren is kind of hurt. Are wolves hurt? No one else was really hurt. That was kind of a waste of a heal, but that's fine. This way. And you know what? Screw this. We're just gonna haste. We can always rest. Stop! Let's just kill that one. He's being very annoying. And actually, he's kind of bugging out. There we go. And he's dead. But we do have haste, so we're gonna move as fast as possible up this hill. Mm, there we go. Inheritor, do not leave me here in the darkness. Deliver me from evil. I used to pray to that fool too, but what's the point? Things got so much better after I renounced her. Remember how many years we've been friends? Should we really let religion become between us? The army is more fun than crusaders. Come on, friend. Renounce her. Come to us. All our friends are already here. Renounce her or we'll devour you, they all say in unison. I will not fear evil, for you are with me, Ayamade. He just casually kills them all and just meanders off. It's amazing. And our haste wore off, of course. Close ranks. Um, let's get our ranged people. Shoot the cultist. Is not an option. That wasn't a ranged person. Uh, you go do that. You go fight stop. that guy. Or not. Go fight this something else mine. then. You don't have AI on. We got bone shakered on something. That hurt. Oh, my dogs. Move up. We need to heal the dogs. I think they're gonna die. No, we're fine. Keep healing. We can rest here if we need to. Why are you not attacking? What's wrong with your AI? Go fight something. Are you slow? Yes, he is. How is that guy not dead? He hasn't even taken damage yet. Oh my god, we just died. Okay, that was very silly. We missed, like, every attack. And my main character just decided not to attack anything. Does he not have a script or, like, a combat thing? I'm very confused as to what just happened there. We'll haste before going in. But, uh... Shall we move? We shall move! Is there no, like, AI script for him? Maybe we should turn AI off and on. 
Maybe it's just not working for some reason. I'm always open to ideas. All right, this is our last haste. We might as well use it. And let's get in there. We're just gonna charge straight towards him. Kill that stupid cleric, and then we'll deal with the rest of them. There we go. And then, now everyone's starting to attack properly. Okay, good. So now AI is working. Maybe just not set enough to do anything. Nenio's taking the pounding from this creeper. Let's get some melee down there to help. Oh, we are. This is going bad. I didn't realize that we were. Our main line was falling so fast. That's fine. Oh, and Nenio died. Okay, let's get buffs. The other group handled this so much easier. I don't know why. Why do the other groups have such an easy task with this particular... Oh, because they're level 8. They're a whole level ahead of this group. One level is a lot, especially as you get to, like, breakpoint levels. It's kind of important. Well, let's get some actual buffs going here. So let's get a blur. Mage armors. More blurs. More blurs. Are you not gonna cast that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then we need things like displacement. Who's got communal protection from? Open your heart to me. No one. Bolster. All right. Now we'll get haste and we'll go in. That'll be waste a whole bunch of time. Go kill that one. You kill that one. Regil, kill that one. He is very annoying to hit. There we go, he's dead. Now we should be okay, we've taken almost no damage. Um, you... that's fine. Where's the Huntsman's? Or the Huntsman, I should say. Go kill that. Let's go kill that one. Regil's taking a beating. Get in here and heal. That's fine. I don't know where Regil is at the moment. That Huntsmaster's ruthless, but that's fine. There we go. This is fine now. We've, we've successfully won. Except no one's moving to attack this last Huntsman for some reason. Alright. Everyone's dead. We'll rest here, because we're gonna need some spells back. And... We also got a new Gnome Hooked Hammer called Honorable Judgment. It's actually really good. I think it's better than Regil's initial weapon. Which I think it's just a hooked hammer plus one. Yeah, cold iron plus one. Uh, so this one gives it's a plus two and it's axiomatic. So um, if the wielder is of lawful alignment and the first hit they round on a chaotic creature deals an additional 1d6 holy damage. Pretty nice. And it's also glowy. It looks so cool. He has 27 armor class. I don't know why he's taking such a massive amount of damage, but whatever. It's fine. It'll be fine. Things happen. Let's rest. We also need to, well, once we do this next encounter, we should be pretty close to a level. If not, we'll go downstairs and do the Lich stuff, and then we should be up a level at that point. In theory. We gotta be leveling pretty soon. We're not that far behind the other group, in terms of experience. Let's take a, oh, that was a terrible amount of time that passed, but that's fine. We're, yeah, 200 experience down. Forwards? From a level. Alright, let's get some spells out. So we need Bless, we need Shield, we need Mage Armor, we need Mage Armor, we need Mage Armor. <laughs> so many Mage Armors to do, so little time. And no odd haste yet. Blur. The worst part is we don't even get to like, get our new level before we have to rest, which sucks. Okay, that's all the main spells. You have Blood Rage, which is good. Let's head to auto. Your orders, Commander. Do I need to put it on manually? Okay, now Rage is on. Oh, he should always have Rage on. Fun. He doesn't have a limit. Uh, resist Energy is not going to help us in this particular fight. Archon's Aura is... It's good. In fact, I might turn it on for this. Less than a minute of level, so last forever. Um, I'll grab Magic Fang on you. Magic Fang on you. Acid Maw on the other one. Cool. Uh, we don't need a restoration. We can use one of those. And 
and I think that's going to be good for spells. Don't think we need delay poison. We'll grab uh, displacement and haste before we run in, and then we'll go. So displacement on you. And I don't know if this is going to matter, because I think... I don't know if this counts or not. Let's save before we go in. We did all our buffing. In the visage of the ghoul before you, one can barely recognize the Honorable Visily Rathamus, your regimental cleric. His fuzzy gray beard is gone, along with his other hair, and his once lively face has grown gaunt and livid. The skull of the old cleric is cracked open and whitish larvae wriggle inside, but this seems not to bother him at all. Heretics, dirty slaves of false gods, the cleric paces up and down before a desecrated altar on which the unholy symbol of Cabriri has been drawn. A group of ghouls have brought the soldiers to kneel before him. Renounce your idol's bow before him who gnaws, or you shall be sacrificed upon his altar. No, never. Holy Amade, hear me now. I'll gladly die before I renounce you. A sacrifice. The old man's claws sink into the soldier's body. Shuddering in pain, the latter whispers a prayer through his teeth. Well, who will be the first to taste flesh? Who will taste or take Cabriri's communion? I will. The pale woman looks at the cleric. Her eyes are glassy with madness. I renounce Sarah and Ray. Hail to Cabriri. I'll do anything, anything you say. Cowardice. Treachery. This is what happens when an army lacks discipline. I beg to differ, Paralictor. I believe your order's training is underpinned by the belief that the soldier should fear his commander more than any enemy. But I ask you, what hideous specimens must you have as officers to ensure your rank and file fear them more than something like this, for instance? Even you are less horrifying than a walking corpse with worms wriggling around in its cracked skull. You are wrong, Count. The only thing I'm less horrifying because you've never been trained by me. If you like, I can arrange a session for you. I'm open to experiencing life in all its variety, but in this I prefer to cleave to my ignorance. We're going to go lawful, but we can't do the Aeon Path. Anyone who renounces the Crusaders will die here and now. We failed it. Horror, despair, and confusion paint the bloody faces of the soldiers. Their eyes shift between you and Vissily. The old man turns towards you. His face is torn by claws and distorted in a vicious smirk. The commander, look, the commander. Servants of the false gods. He leads the Crusaders on their march to the slaughterhouse. You'll make a fine sacrifice. Grab him. Gnaw him. Okay, let's take a look at our doorway situation here, because everyone's going to get stuck if this is not a good situation. We're fine. We can... Uh, actually, we'll just... We didn't do a mirror image. That was bad. It's fine. Go into combat. Burn. Everyone go into combat. You go over here. I just want to make sure everyone gets into the room. Okay, this is fine. I think everyone's in that needs to be in. Alright, we're also going to do a controlled fireball right here. Get some of that sweet AoE going. Did a fair amount of damage. I'm not sure if that was a controlled fireball or if we just blew up some people. But I don't care. We are taking some serious damage from something. Oh my god, something just did endless damage. Might be the Huntsmaster. Whoops, did I... Oh my god, I think I removed that thing from my bar. And that's where we need to go. That's what the other group couldn't do. Is no one going to kill the stupid Huntsman? Kill the Huntsman, right now. Jesus. Okay. And we're going to pick this lock. And Camellia's... Oh, we gained a level! Yes, excellent. That is what I was really hoping would happen here. I may need to look up some builds, because I can't remember exactly what I have for people. Did I just loot a ghoul stalker? Ah. Uh, Always picking up the worst of the trash. Oh, well, it's fine. Trail. It's fine. Okay, main character, Magus, obviously, is just going to continue on his path. Sword sainting. That's his goal in life. We're going to get some strength. And we're just going to... Uh, that was wrong. We don't take mobility at this level. Oh, I did this wrong. That's okay. We'll eventually get athletics up there. Mobility can stay at five. That's fine. Uh, oh, <laughs> so I don't remember what I was doing. I think I'm doing Enduring Blade. Uh, bad. Hang on, I gotta load up my build. For some reason I thought for sure I had this memorized, but I don't. It is Enduring Blade. I was right, I'm just an idiot. Okay, level two spells. We're gonna take full strength, because it's good. Actually... Let me take a quick look at what we have here. 
No, I'm definitely going to take bull strength. Okay. And we're going to grab... Bear's Endurance, Animal Aspect. Grab Bear's Endurance, I think. Yeah, it's not the best, but that's fine. I wish we could get Mage Armor on our main character, but we can't, because then we can't get Mage Armor Specialist or whatever. I mean, we can use potions, but here we are. Uh, Secret Hunts Master is leveling up. Dexterity, of course. And we're going to go bloop, 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 bloop. That's it. I think she takes out flank. I'm almost certain, but I'm gonna just. Actually, I'm just my. Yeah, I don't have a written build for her. This is the one I didn't actually make or build. I'm just gonna put out flank, I think. Um. As for spells, we're gonna grab Cure Moderate. Any healing is good healing. Unless there's something really good here. Remove Paralysis is not bad. It's a pretty good Inquisitor spell, honestly. But I think I'm still going to take... No, we have Darren. Darren can heal anything. Blessing of Luck and Resolve is pretty awesome. For an Inquisitor. Plus your morale against fear. Which I guess it's just only fear. And for a level 2 spell, it's not the best in the world. Oh, I'm just going to take that one. I have such qualms sometimes. Hunter... What was the other level she took? Oh, right, she has one level Spirit Shaman, right. And then Vivisectionist, of course. Uh, more... Dex. Although... We could give her... Nah. You know what? Let's just give her Dex. Dex is fine. Do, do. We'll get her some more Lore Nature later, but we just wanted to max out those other things first. Note Flank. And we're gonna grab... Cat's Grace, maybe? Yeah. I mean, buff spells are always good. There's almost never a thing where buff spells are not a good thing to take. Darren is easy to level up, luckily. Oracle. Charisma. Normal skills. And then I'm going to give him... What spell? Level 4 spells here. Grab Restoration, which is actually an extraordinarily useful spell in this game. There's a lot of level drain and a lot of ability drain. Cure Critical, also very important, though. I think I'm going to go with Restoration first, and then Cure Critical later. We don't have anyone else to cast Restoration, and we do still have level drains all over the place. At least one level drain at the moment. Yes, I know how base tech bonus works. We're like 30 hours into the game. Go away. Uh, intelligence course for her, and then all of the normal things she takes. And she got another intelligence skill, so she has a bunch more skill points, which evens out this use magic device nicely. Phantasmal Killer, a rainbow pattern, done. Regil is uh, fatigued from his bloodlusting, which is fine. Uh, Dex, do I want to buff him up to that 14 strength? I'm going to quickly check my build on him, because I can't remember how I did that. I think I just left it at 13, though, to be honest. Yeah, I did. Okay. And... What was my thing for him? Don't remember. Does he even get to beat this level? Yes. And he's going to take... I might give him last level. Okay. Go back up to the top. Was it recommend hammer the gap and procure? No. I'm gonna take. Do I have improved two up in fighting already somewhere? Weapon finesse, fighter finesse. Oh, okay. So I took two up in fighting last level, which is now very confusing. I'm not entirely sure. Where I'm at on this build, what did I take that last level? How did I get a feed for this level? Did I screw up my build somehow? Anyways, it's fine. Uh, we can take improved critical, which is pretty good. Threat range doubled. Verona strike is also amazing. It's like power attack, but for his weapons, finesse weapons. 
Does he have power attack normally? No, he doesn't. I'm going to take Piranha Strike and get that sweet power attack situation going. I'm very confused. I must have screwed up something on his build. Somehow. He has an extra course. feat that I wasn't oh, I welcome totally you. aware that he was going to have. I'm very confused. Anywho, let's go downstairs and start to deal with uh, the lich type stuff. Uh, we'll do a Gnarled Jarkana check. Should be fine. The ritual circle are drawn in blood on the floor of the desecrated church. It's covered with the unholy symbols of the Lord of the Abyss. And of course there's this thing here. The altar extrude, exudes sorry, the last remains of the holy power that once ruled over this place. We can use it to lower our corruption. We might as well. Why not? The corruption of the abyss retreats in the face of the cleansed relic's What's sanctified power. There, We're going downstairs. This group is going to have a little bit more extra to do in the lost chapel area because of this downstairs area. We're running out of time, so we're going to have to make this fast. At least some of it fast. Isn't there a door here somewhere? There it is. Um, I don't know how we're going to do against the golems, to be honest. Let's find out. We saved. We still have buffs on, sort of. Still golems. Well, I got knocked down, so that's good. It's almost dead. It does hit real hard if it hits. Okay, that wasn't so bad. 120 experience for that thing, though. Grab that, but not that. Actually, the port. Oh, I love the port. Tasty. Come on. There are dead flies in the cups. The food on the plates turned into a grayish mass a long time ago. That's gross. This place must smell awful. Now we're going to go across the hall. I think there's two stone golems on the other side. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe. Oh, there's a discovery. trap. And it's in the other room. So, Camellia. Well. Let's see if you can sneak in and deal with the trap. Oh, it's not in the other room. It's just on the end of this hall. Okay. I hope you appreciate this. And let's go in. So there are two stone golems here. This is going to suck a little bit. Good haste. You require my unbiased opinion? Can always rest again. Doesn't really make a difference. He got hit pretty hard there. It fell down and then promptly exploded. That wasn't so bad. Alright, good enough. Oh, what is that? And we got a lectern that's locked. I am helpful. It has a sigh in it, but not a magical sigh, just a normal run-of-the-mill sigh, which might actually be the only sigh in this whole game. I don't think I've seen another one yet. Maybe I have, and I just wasn't paying attention, though. If you're going to go with exotic weapon proficiencies, you're going to have a weird time. Like, Finian might be your only bet for having a magical weapon with some of the weirder uh, exotic weapon types, like Sighs, for example. The bed sheets have been yellowed, and the blanket has been eaten by moths. Gross. Moths are... I don't like moths. They're weird. They're like very dusty. And if you kill them, they just... They don't have like a body, they're just made of dust. Moths creep me out a little bit, not gonna lie. Let's open the door into the librarium, where we get to meet our lich friend. Who's going to be make, make us a lich as well, one day. Not right away, but soon. As soon as we take Dresden. I only know because I've gotten up to the end of Dresden with one group. On my single player game. On my non-recording game. You see an undead man dressed in a style popular among Mandevian crusaders a hundred years ago. Though long decayed, his expensive adornments indicate high status, and the clean and functional cut of his suit places it is where, in a military profession, the undead man sizes you up with a lordly glance. Greetings, Crusader. You have the honor of meeting Zacharias the Lich, the last warden of the newfound sanctuary and master of this place. I sense you as soon as you stepped through the gates of my stronghold. There's something in your bag that belongs to me. Give me the wand, and as my oath dictates, I will shall grant you a gift. What is this? Zacharias is an unholy walking corpse, the legendary hero, righteous of the righteous, the man above, or the man after whom five, no, six of my acquaintances from the most pious noble families were named. Darren doubles over in laughter. Oh, I cannot wait to tell everyone about this. Who should I write to first, the right honorable Baron Zacharias or the Reverend Abbas Zachariah? The dark energy coming from the Lich draws a response inside you, a surge of power similar to what you felt 
in the bandit cave, suppresses and overwhelms all feelings and fills you with new sensations. You lose control over your body for a moment as your hand as your hands, if as if alive on their own, dive into the bag and take Zacharias's wand out. You would swear that it trembles with impatience like a dog too long away from its master. Evil requires lith Lich Mythopath to give him the wand, it belongs to you. Green light shines in the Lich's eyes, and his, his arrogant tone offends the air. So common sense wins out, how commendable. Otherwise, I should have had to kill you, but I have other plans for you. Accept this, my gift. Had we met under different circumstances, I would never have even considered sharing my power, but my oath obliges me. I, Zacharias, shall hereby fulfill my vow. A worthy crusader has come, and return my wand to me. You may Now I may leave this prison, and you shall become my apprentice. For my first order is your master, you must truly show yourself a worthy crusader, or my oath will not be fulfilled, and I am merely wasting my time. Meanwhile, I shall begin my work. I shall reach the very depths of your soul to alternate, to alter it, ready it for eternity. You will not regret the path that our paths have crossed. Up there, you'll find the master of this fortress. Nulkaneth is expecting you. This demon is so witless he doesn't even suspect I'm here, but he is strong and tiresome. It is high time somebody disposed of him. I shall assist you in this. Although my own brothers in arms are long dead, their hatred for the demons is far stronger than death. They will help kill Nulkaneth. Nulkaneth and. Are prepared to command the last defenders are or sorry, are you prepared to command the last defenders of the lost chapel and purge my fortress of the demon filth? I can't read this morning. Holy god. I am ready. For the first time in your entire conversation, you sense a shade of empathy in Zacharias's voice. Then do not linger. I shall go to the laboratory to contemplate your future. Farewell. Be ready when we next meet. And of course we get to loot this whole place, and there's more fights to do. There's a whole hidden area back here. Through that door in which we will go and murder things. A devil imp. Plus two profane bonus on trickery and stealth checks. Nice. We actually have not brought out a pet out in this entire game, and we really should have. We have like a lot of pets, I think. Where would they even be located in my inventory, though? There's there. So we have an owl, which is perception and lore. Trickery and stealth. Uh, perception and lore. That's just a sigil. I kind of want perception and lore, but I want the kitty cat. Perception's super important. Can the dog use the... Oh, I didn't level up the dogs. Oh, just... Wait. Is it group-wide or just person-wide? Well, now I'm curious. It's person-wide. Oh. I crave for adventure. <laughs> Can I... I just want to see something. I'm very curious about something now. I'm going to test something out. I don't think this is going to work, but I kind of want to see. Take that off. Go back to the pet thing. If I were to go, I put that there, and that there, and that there. So many thoughts, so little time. No way. Do they stack? Where's my perception skill? Oh, only one of them. Only one of them kicks in. I see. But you can still get two different ones, so I'll give the owl, I guess, to her, or to, to Camellia, probably. She needs the perception the most because she is the best at it, and if she fails, then our group basically fails perception checks. So, give her the owl for protection, protection, perception, and actually, she should also have the trickery and uh, stealth one as well, so we'll give her both of those. Since apparently that works that way, and is very weird, but I kind of don't mind that. They both just fly around. Well, that's adorable. Wait, where's the owl? Where is the owl? I turned it on, and it's allegedly here. Is that it there on the ground? I think that's it there, right there on the ground. Anyways, let's level up our dogs, and then we'll call it a video. We're pretty much done on time anyways. Uh, we're going to take Dex. We got our one intellect, so that's fine. We use Dex on wolves, right? Ah, oh, I don't remember my build for this either. This is the worst moment of my life. I'm just kidding. That's not true at all. Uh, that would be a huge, that would be a massive hyperbole. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the pet thing that I built. It is strength, right? Yes. That's what I thought. Go away. Yes. Strength. Bloop bloop. Oh, we don't need mobility anymore. Just perception. 
Perception Athletics is what we're going with now. And, uh, yeah, we have 30 strength. It definitely uses strength for attacks. Dude, dude. Wait, you have three int? Yes. You have so much more dex. Did I put dex into you by accident on your first level? Did I screw that up? Possibly. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You'll have lots of strength. It's all good. 26 strength. That's fine. It's good enough. All right, we're going to end the video here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, in the next video, we'll uh, head down this tunnel, do some more fights after I finish looting the library, and then uh, we will go do the other side of Lost Chapel after saving Erebeth, and then we'll fight the boss, and then we'll continue on towards Dresden. Take care, guys, and I'll see you all next time.